वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट एंड जय स्वामी नारायण इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर स्टार्टेड अवर चैप्टर नंबर फोर ऑफ द केमिस्ट्री इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर डिस्कस द जे जे थॉम्सन मॉडल ऑफ एन एटम एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द जे जे थॉम्सन ऑल द पॉजिटिव चार्ज आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड कंटिन्यूसली ओवर द स्पीयर एंड नेगेटिव चार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन आर discretely spread over the sphere like a seeds of the watermelon so the j j thomson's model is like a pump pudding model so j j thomson so success what are the success of the j j thomson j j thomson states that the atoms are electrically neutral the value of positive charge and the negative charge is approximately same so we can say that the atoms are electrically neutral second success of the jj thomson's model is that the size of the atom is about a 10 raised to minus 10 meter but the jj according to the jj thomson's model all the positive charge are distributed over a sphere and according to the static electricity static distribution of the charge is not possible right after that Rutherford made an experiment of the alpha scattering and give a model of an atom right so dear student today in this video we will discuss the rutherford's model of an atom so rutherford designed an experiment of the scattering of the alpha particle alpha particle is scattered from the golden foil so what do you mean by the alpha particle that i will teach you first right so the rutherford designed an experiment of an scattering of an alpha particle so rutherford allow a beam of fast moving alpha particles so what are the alpha particles the alpha particles are nothing but a positive helium ion which has a two proton and two electron and the mass of the helium is four times the mass of the hydrogen so alpha particle so rutherford allow a beam of the fast moving alpha particles right having a positive charge to fall on a thin golden foil right so first of all what do you mean by the alpha particle alpha particle are the helium ions which has a mass four times the mass of the hydrogen so very heavily positive charge are allowed to fall on a thin golden foil right why the golden foil is selected so he select a golden foil because he wanted as thin a layer as possible and the this gold foil was about a 1000 atoms thick right so the thickness of the golden point is about a thousand atom second the alpha particles are doubly charged helium ion since they have a mass four times four amu that is the four times the mass of the hydrogen atom the fast moving alpha particle have a considerable amount of the energy and it was expected that alpha particles would be deflected by the sub atomic particles in the golden atom right so according to the rutherford when the alpha particles heavily charged alpha particles are fall on a golden foil the with the very high amount of the considerable amount of the energy the alpha rutherford expected that the alpha particles would be deflected by the sub atomic particles in the golden foil or the alpha particles it would be deflected by a atoms of the golden foil right so but as the experiment was performed by the rutherford the result is a quite different so what result obtained after performing the experiment of the alpha particle scattering of the alpha particle from the golden foil so let us discuss that the golden foil have a thousands of the atoms of the gold right so here in this figure let us see this atoms of the gold and this rays are the alpha particles rays of the alpha particles 
so number of alpha particles are fall on the thin golden foil which has a thousand atom the rutherford expected that all the alpha particles are deflected would bound back in the direction of the incident right so but the result is quite different what result he obtained by experiment of the scattering of the alpha particle so the alpha particle scattering experiment gave a totally unexpected result and the rutherford observed that most of the alpha particle passed straight through the gold foil so first one first one observation of the rutherford from the experiment is that the most of the alpha particle are passing through the golden foil in a pass straight through the golden foil right so like this most of the alpha particle is pass through the golden foil second observation that some of the alpha particles were slightly deflected by the small angle so here these alpha particles are incident on this golden foil like this most of the alpha particle is passing through throughout the straight line right through the golden foil and second some of the alpha particle were slightly deflected by a some angle some of the alpha particle is slightly deflected by a some angle right that is called the scattering of the alpha particles so some of the alpha particles are slightly deflected by a small angle that is called the scattering of the alpha particle and very few alpha particles right approximately 10000 alpha particles to the one of the alpha particles is appear to rebound like this one of the alpha particles is appear to rebound in the same direction of the when the as the alpha particle is incident right so dear student here the rutherford observed that most of the alpha particle passing through the straight line through the golden foil second observation is some of the alpha particle is slightly deflected by a small angle and very few alpha particles 10 is to 4 alpha particle to the one alpha particle that means when the 10000 alpha particles are incident one of the alpha particle is appear to rebound back in the same direction right so this result obtained by the scattering of the alpha particle so dear student as shown in this figure these atoms are of a atoms of the gold foil when the alpha particles like the blue rays are incident on the gold foil most of the alpha particles passing through the gold foil like a straight line right very few of the alpha particles are deflected some of the alpha particles are deflected with a small angle and very few alpha particles are rebound back in the same direction so dear student you have to draw this figure also to explain the rutherford experiment of the alpha particle scattering of the alpha particle right and this according to this result the rutherford concluded that so we will see the conclusion from the rutherford's experiment of the scattering of alpha particles so first observation is that most of the alpha particle is passed straight through the golden foil that means the rutherford concluded that most of the space inside an atom is a empty right so the rutherford concluded that from the first observation the rutherford concludes that the atom is a hollow sphere without any internal structure most of the space inside an atom is empty because most of the alpha particles pass straight through the golden foil second observation the atom had a small nucleus having a positive charge because some of the alpha particles having a positive charge were slightly deflected by a small angle right some of the alpha particle is deflected by a small angle and from that the rutherford concluded that the atom had a very inside the atom very small region which has a positive charge right and the rutherford states that this region is called the nucleus 
so atom had a very small nucleus having a positive charge because some of the alpha particles having a positive charge were slightly deflected by a small angle right so very in a very small region in the atom in, at the center very small region all the positive charge is concentrated right and third conclusion rutherford made from the experiment is that the size of the nucleus is a very small compared to the size of the atom so from the third observation very few alpha particles are appear to rebound and most of the positive charge and the mass of the atom is in the nucleus so from that the very few alpha particles about a 10000 alpha particles to the one alpha particle is appear to rebound and from that the rutherford concluded that the most of the positive charge and the mass of the atom is in the nucleus and the nucleus is very small compared to the size of the atom and he estimate the size of the nucleus is about a 10 raise to minus 14 meter right so from that the rutherford designed a model of an atom right so what is the rutherford's model of an atom so according to the rutherford an atom is a hollow sphere without any internal structure right first point is that an atom has a positive charged nucleus at its center and most of the mass of the atom is in the nucleus so according to the rutherford's model all the positive charge is concentrated at the center of the atom and this central region is called the nucleus so most of the positive charge and the mass of the atom is concentrated at the center region and this central region is called the nucleus of the atom second thing is that the electrons revolve around the nucleus in the different circular orbit so rutherford state that second model second conclusion is that all the electrons negative charged electrons are revolving around the orbit around the circular orbit in a around the nucleus right so electron revolves in a circular orbit around the nucleus so according to the rutherford model all the positively charged all the positive charge and the mass of the atom is concentrated in a very small region at the center and this central region is called the nucleus so in the nucleus all the positive charge is concentrated right in a very small region second thing is that the electron is revolving in a circular orbit in the different orbit right so negative charged electron revolve around the nucleus in a different circular orbit and the size of the nucleus is very small compared to the size of the atom the jj thomson estimated the size of the atom is a 10 raise to minus 10 meter and from that the after that the rutherford estimate the size of the nucleus is about a 10 raise to minus 14 meter it is a very small compared to the size of the atom right so understand dear student what is the rutherford's model of an atom so according to the rutherford's model all the positively charged particles and most of the mass of the atom is concentrated in a very small region at the center of the atom and this small region is called the nucleus of the atom second thing is that the electron revolves electrons in the atom revolves around the nucleus in the different circular orbit and third point is that the size of the nucleus is very small compared to the size of the atom the size of the nucleus is about a 10 raise to minus 14 meter right so now dear student some drawbacks of the rutherford's atom model of an atom any particle so according to the rutherford's model the electrons negatively charged electrons are revolving around the nucleus in a circular orbit but 
any particles in a circular orbit would undergo the acceleration and during the acceleration this charged particle would reduce the energy continuously right so here the when the electron is revolving in a circular orbit the electron undergoes the accelerated motion and the accelerated electron radiates the energy continuously and so that it the revolving electron would lose the energy and fall into the nucleus so the atoms would be unstable but we know that the atoms are a stable so these are the this one is the first limitation of the rutherford's atom model of the atom so what is the first limitation so when the electrons are revolving in a circular orbit around the nucleus the negatively charged electron undergoes the accelerated motion and accelerated charge electron produce the accelerated electron radiates the energy continuously and because of this the revolving electron will be lost the some amount of the energy continuously and its rate orbital radius is continuously decrease and fall onto the nucleus so that the atom would be unstable right so understand first limitation drawback of the rutherford's model of an atom so according to the rutherford's model the electrons are revolving in a circular orbit but when the electron is revolving in a circular orbit the motion of the electron is considered as a accelerated motion and accelerated electron would radiates the energy continuously and because of this the revolving electron will lose the energy continuously and it falls into the nucleus so the atoms would becomes the unstable so the according to the rutherford's model of an atom cannot explain the revolution of the electron in a circular orbit second drawbacks of the rutherford's model is that the distributor distribution of the electron in the different orbit cannot be explained by the rutherford model and the stability of the atoms is also cannot be explained by the rutherford model right so these are the few limitation drawbacks right disadvantage of the rutherford's model of an atom so this drawbacks of the rutherford's model of an atom can be eliminate or success by a next model that was given by the neil bohr right so that we will discuss in the next video bohr's model of an atom in the bohr's model of an atom the limitation of the rutherford's atomic model can be overcome right